Whatever reasons that you've chosen to take up the Catch to 5K program, do you realize that thousands of people will quit before they even reach the end of the program? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you the five top reasons why people do quit and try to come up with the ideas to help you to overcome the disappointment of defeat and succeed in completing the program straight away. My name's Ray Whitby and welcome to Aspiring Runners. So in fifth place, the fifth top most used reason for quitting is a lack of time. Of course, we're all leading very busy lifestyles. Most of us have got jobs and families, pressures of work, financial commitments, etc. Friendships to uphold. Uh, and that just adds to a very potent workload that does keep us somewhat distracted, especially from things like running. But then it comes down to trying to find what your rationale is for running. What is your motivation? What keeps you going? And through those particular reasons, if you get them set in your head, you'll be able to prioritize. Now, of course, running, lifestyle choices, health, running can be quite a, a low priority. But in order to enable you to succeed in all the other things, you need your health. And therefore, the Couch to 5K represents a key factor in improving your physical condition to allow you to be able to enjoy the other aspects of life and to survive them. So I'd say that you need to plan to commit to the running program. And we'll go into some of the other reasons. Um, if you're finding it difficult to maintain uh, the, the program itself, uh, but the main thing is here, if you're committing in your mind to do the program, everything else will fall into line. You know, get it into your diary, book time out on your, on your calendar. Make sure that you've done everything you possibly can to set yourself up to get out there and keep going. Now that may mean getting your running gear ready the day before, the night before, or the morning before the run so that you have every incentive to get home, switch into your running gear, just head out the door. Reason number four. The uh, fourth most used reason to quit the Couch 5K program is the experience of discomfort and pain. Now, of course, for this reason and any other reason why people quit, I'd never use it to diminish the individual or the excuse. Discomfort and pain is a horrible thing to try and endure, uh, especially when you're not used to it. You don't know just how much uh, damage your body could be experiencing. And therefore, it's understandable that you don't want to keep experiencing discomfort and pain throughout the rest of the program. But of course, there are many things that can be done to help alleviate it. Having a proper warm-up, which is all about dynamic exercises. You save the static exercises, the stretching, for the cool down phase. So proper warm up. And in this video, I have a series of warm up exercises that will take you through the correct preparation before you head out on your run. And also, if you are experiencing problems, the pain, um, then you've got to figure out why. Self assessment can be very a tricky thing. Um, seek professional medical advice if necessary. Uh, but always, the key thing after every run, if you are getting impacted, damage, injuries, experiencing pain, you've got to look at the RICE method. And that's rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Four critical components to treating any minor discomfort to injury after the run. Now, for the reasons why it's causing you pain and discomfort, well, they could be varied. And that comes down to a process of elimination. Is how do you work out what was causing you the discomfort? Now for the Couch to 5K program, it may just simply be that your body is not yet adapted to the running. And it will take quite a while, probably many weeks, to allow your body to get into the rhythm of running, adapting biomechanically, physiologically, to the changes you're asking your body to suddenly do. It's uh, a wake-up call for the body. The muscles, the ligaments, the tendons, uh, they're just not used to it. So you've got to give yourself a little bit of time uh, to try and adapt into your program. 
Um, there could be other things as well. Uh, things like running posture. You know, how do you hold yourself from head to foot? How do you engage the whole um, dynamics of running? And it could be a whole heap of issues uh, that could start somewhere up the top that cause pain further down the body. Uh, for example, if you have a tight iliotibial band around your hip, that can cause major pain in the knees. I mean, it could be that your muscle imbalance, you have weak glutes, uh, you maybe need to train and um, specifically target your quads to strengthen the knees. You could also work on uh, foot strengthening exercises as well. There's a whole host of things that you could look at, try and overcome that discomfort. But the principal rule, um, above all, beyond all else, is if it's painful, looking at the severity of pain, uh, that if it is acute and persistent, you have to you know, stop the running for a short while. And don't worry about your running performance disappearing. Uh, I've read studies that says it takes probably about eight weeks of no running at, at all for your entire performance and capabilities to be significantly impacted. And that's not to say that it won't take you a couple of weeks to get back into where you were, and regain your former uh, composure, your former performance, uh, but it's just to not panic so much that all your gains are suddenly out of the window. That's not exactly true. So, looking at reason number three. And reason number three why people will quit couch to 5k could be that they are not coping with the changes in the program week to week. So in one week, it could be asking you to do a 12 minute run without stopping. And then the very next week, it's asking you to do 20 minutes without And what you've got to realize here is that there are so many different apps. There's so many different training programs. You've got to find out what works for you. Um, but as a general guide, principle, I'd just say, if you're struggling to go from 12 to 20 minutes, then break it down. Maybe insert a couple of extra weeks into the training program where you can then uh, just, just increase the distance or the time uh, you know, just by, say, a few more minutes. So you go from 12 minutes in the first week, insert your extra weeks, go up to 15 minutes to 18 minutes, and then get back into the program, resume again, and hopefully those incremental jumps will help your body get to that point where you can you know, just hit the rest of the program without too many difficulties. Uh, and maybe sometimes you've just got to take a step back from it all, get out of the game, try something different, some cross-training techniques, go out cycling, maybe try a few fun runs, do something where you're not following the plan, distract yourself, try and recapture what is motivating you to do the Couch to 5K. If you can get enough time to relax the body and the mind and the spirit, you'll be able to be, able to be better focused uh, and motivated to stick with the next phases. So reason number two is a lack of motivation. Now, this is a very difficult one, especially going through lockdown, that being able to run with other people is um, very, very difficult in many places, in many countries. Um, but there are other ways that you could do this. Um, virtually, uh, where you could get some friends, get some running buddies, um, form a WhatsApp group, just get into a, a place where they can just spot you, keep you accountable, you know, just really champion you. Um, you get to update them, they'll update you. Even better if you can do the Couch to 5K with somebody else that's also going through. It doesn't necessarily have to be doing the same weeks as you, um, but certainly will help that if you have somebody uh, that is going through the same kind of stresses and strains. It is a big boost. Just encourage each other. And I'd recommend going onto Facebook and looking up a number of the Couch to 5K groups and join in some of those. You just see there are thousands, tens of thousands of people in these groups that are going through exactly what you're going through. Some other motivation possibilities can include looking at running with music. Uh, now you have to be a bit careful Apart from the safety issue, 
uh, that you can hear things going on around you. But uh, one of the other things is um, checking the tempo of the music. That if you've got too high a tempo, uh, your body may naturally try to run at that beat. And if your tempo within the music is too high, you'll exhaust yourself. Uh, so be a little bit wary. Um, but it's great to have that mental distraction just to keep yourself focused on the task ahead without looking at the enormity of the mountain that it may feel like for your next running session. And that leads us into the number one reason why people quit Couch to 5K. And it's just really because they feel they're unable to cope with sessions or with the weeks. And, oh, excuse me. Uh, you know, it could be simple things like, are you out of breath when you're running in those first couple of weeks? Uh, you know, could it be that you are experiencing you know, major discomfort? You're not sure what to do next. Maybe it's the conditions. You don't like running in the heat. You don't like running in the rain. You know, these are all very understandable. Um, now, there could be a whole plethora of reasons as to why uh, you, know, you just don't want to keep going, why you can't cope um, with the, the sessions. Um, because they're so varied, I think the only thing you can do is probably write them down in the comments below. Uh, let me know what it is you're struggling with. And maybe I can find the right, the right answer for you. Uh, so, I think above and beyond everything else, you know, it's don't lose your motivation for trying this Couch 5K. You know, whether it's health, weight loss, fitness, performance, something else to do. Uh, really, it's about finding the fun in running, and that may not come straight away. The bonus tip for all of this is try not to give in too soon. It may take months, not just to complete the Couch to 5K, but to fully embrace what running is all about. And let's face it, you know, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. Heard that one from a guy on the internet. I think it's a brilliant motto. The only real failure is having quit Couch to 5K. But you may not make it in six weeks, eight weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks, whatever. No, if you can stay to the end, even if it takes you three months, six months, sometimes you win and then sometimes you learn. So look, let me know how you got on. Let me know what you're coping with, what you're struggling with. Uh, please write down in the comments below what you found to be useful, um, what things you're still struggling with, what things we can target. Tell me how you're getting on, uh, how are you finding it, and uh, what kind of motivational techniques have really helped you survive the Couch to 5K, because that can really help other runners too. But thanks for watching. Um, if you found this useful, please click on like, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you know, you'll be notified as soon as the next videos are ready for release. And yeah, just say, keep going, keep running. You can do this. So thanks for watching. Catch you next time on Aspiring Runners. So long.